Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy AO Live. Look, man, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure to turn the notifications on and hit that thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment as well, uh, letting me know if you have any questions on this after we're done with the video. And I hope you guys enjoy, man. Let's get it. All right, man. So this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a very, very long time. And it's a question that literally almost everybody in my chat asks me at one point or another, man. And that's literally, Ayo, how do I grow my channel, bro? I'm averaging one to three viewers every single stream. I just can't seem to get viewers. I'm grinding every single day. And the viewers are just not coming. If you feel like these are questions that you ask, this is the video for you, man. I'm going to teach you guys how to get that view count up and start growing on Twitch, bro. Yo, guys, real quick disclaimer. My name is AO Live. I stream on Twitch pretty much almost every single night. I stream a lot of Fortnite. Uh, not really any other games, just Fortnite, to be honest with you. And we, we're literally on that grind almost every single night. I'm not the most famous streamer in the world. Um, I'd actually say I'm a pretty small streamer. Uh, so this video is kind of for the people that are looking to, to get to that like 30 to 50 viewer average mark which is what I'm kind of at right now. And I want to help you guys get there and kind of build a community to start off. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over the couple of successful types of streamers that there are out there. And you have to be one of these if you want to succeed. Um, basically, the first one is be an absolute beast at the game that you're playing, man. If you're a streamer and you're an absolute beast at the game you're playing, like let's say you're like a Fortnite professional, you're not going to have any issues getting viewers. You might at the start, but you'll eventually start getting noticed through tournaments, through different events. And people will start to know your name man um and then there's another type of streamer which is just be entertaining interactive with chat be unique bro that's a different type of successful streamer right there and there's way too many times man i go into people's chats um people from my community as well and they have like one to two viewers um and those viewers are in the chat trying to talk to them right and let's say let's say their name's like waffle slayer 52 right waffle slayer 52 is sitting trying to get the streamers attention and they're not even talking back to their chat man um you can't do that bro if you want to grow your community if you want to grow your brand you want to be talking to your chat bro you want to communicate with the ones that are there when no one else is there bro and you want to get to know your community those are going to be your ogs one day those are going to be some really really big people um in your community going forward so you don't want to push them away Instead, you want to talk to them. You want to get to know them. You want to play with them. You know what I mean? So that, that's, a, that's a huge thing um, that'll keep people sticking around your channel. So that next time you go live, it's not just those two people. You have three people. You have four people. And you're starting to build a specific fan base that's always going to be in your chat almost every single time that you go live, man. So another big thing that's required if you want to be streaming on Twitch is growing your social media man this is something that i talk about literally all the time every single time people ask me they're like yo ayo how do i grow my twitch channel bro i'm like social media instagram twitter bro TikTok. these social medias man they could help you grow your twitch tremendously bro post your clips on there show them what you're all about and you'll end up getting traffic from these social media platforms onto your twitch channel so they're very very important to get a following on and Twitter especially is really, really important if you want to connect with other streamers and other Twitch users, man. You have no idea how many people I've connected with just through Twitter alone. And you could even get connected with some of your favorite streamers. Um, like Nick Mertz tweeted back at me the other day, uh, just gave me the world's motivation. Weird flex, I know. But like, it just, it motivated the crap out of me, bro. And um, Twitter is just a really, really good tool to, to share your stream. Um, and to kind of build your brand and your community. So if you're going live every single day and you're not posting anything on Instagram or Twitter, bro, you're not doing it right, bro. You want to post your highlights. You want to post and show people that aren't watching your stream what they're missing out on, bro. You want to show them what they're missing out on and why they should be going to your chat. Another big thing is posting your stream everywhere whenever you go live, man. I don't care if it's your Twitter, Instagram, anywhere bro your only fans if you have an only fans freaking post a status update and say i'm live every single time you go live on your twitter tell them you're live on your instagram story tell them you're live look man i know a lot of people are going to brush this off but there's also going to be a few people that are bored and don't really have anything to do and they're going to end up clicking on that and they're going to end up coming to your channel and you never know what that where that's going to take you um that could be a viewer a lot lifetime viewer you know what i mean so you never know I mean, it's important to post saying that you're live every single time 
if you just go live and you don't post saying that you went live a lot of people are not going to know about it twitch notifications are kind of scuffed sometimes sometimes people don't get noties sometimes people don't have noties on um discord that's a big one as well have your own discord server every single time you go live have a bot announce that you went live on your channel so that people could click on it and eventually end up in your chat and then entertain them bro speaking of discord man i think discord is super super important because if you think about it discord is pretty much your chat after you're not live anymore i mean social media is different instagram is different because you have a following discord is pretty much just a big group chat with all the members of your community all the people that have made friends with each other are all going to be in that discord channel so i think having a discord if you're a streamer and you don't have a discord set a discord up immediately because i think that's going to help a lot of you guys up if you don't have a discord make that discord server right now bro trust me all right so now we're going to go into kind of how to maintain your viewers man how to keep these viewers that come across your stream in your stream bro let me tell you something man when you go live you just have to have like this different mindset about you bro you got to be ready to put on a show that's literally how i am every single time i go live i'm like okay i'm not going live to play fortnite right now right i'm gonna play fortnite and i'm gonna put on a show i'm gonna put on a show for my chat because i want to entertain them and i want them to have a good time tonight in my chat i don't want them to feel like they're wasting their time and i don't want them to feel like they're bored out of their mind bro so basically look man if you have a couple people in your chat this is going to be tough to do what i would recommend man is literally while you're streaming this is going to sound weird talk to yourself bro commentate over your gameplay let's say you're playing solos walk around yo what is that a green tack all right i'm gonna go pick that up okay now we gotta go to zone okay now now we gotta go over here okay damn sit down kid you know just just keep talking bro like keep talking be entertaining act as if there's a hundred people watching your stream at the time and i promise you when people see that when people see that type of bond you have with the game i know i know it sounds it sounds crazy but like when when people see kind of your perspective on the game and your take on the game and the way that you play the game with your narrations bro people are gonna like that and they're gonna find it entertaining keep in mind guys people are always gonna have fun watching somebody who's passionate at what they're doing man if you're passionate about playing fortnite if you're passionate about playing call of duty if you're passionate about gta roleplay um people are going to love watching that this is actually something one of my viewers taught me shout out john balawedge um he actually told me he's like yo ayo do what you gotta do man as long as you're passionate in in what you're doing we're gonna want to watch we're gonna want to watch you so that's that's a big one right there speaking of being passionate man energy bro energy is huge look man i could go live on stream like i could literally pull up and be like hey guys what's up man your boy ayo they were running some fortnite or i could be like yo what is up everybody it's your boy ayo welcome to the chat hope you guys are all doing good um let's get it started bro which one would you rather watch like you you have to have that energy you have to be excited to play the game excited to stream and and you you want to go out there and just get it bro you know what i mean like you, you just got to be driven um there are going to be some days where you're not going to be feeling that energy there's some days where i go live and i'm like bro i shouldn't have gone live today because as sometimes you get burnt out sometimes everything chat says is pissing you off it happens bro it happens to everybody i see it in like in the biggest streamers too um people get cranky they get mad check it's annoying sometimes unfortunately it happens um but when you're not feeling it bro don't go live when you're not feeling it don't go live don't let anybody tell you hey bro like why are you missing streams this that look bro if you're not feeling it, it don't go live you gotta you gotta be feeling good yourself first in order to go live every single time you go live man this is my biggest point you gotta have your energy in check bro you have to be ready to stream and give it absolutely all you got bro you cannot slack on it bro this is your like bro you have like a certain time to stream in your life either you make it work or you don't and you gotta give your all to make it work man you really do and and that that's one of the biggest points i can make another thing that's big about like growing your twitch channel is you want to raid you want to host people um usually i would recommend hosting people that are a little bit larger than your channel um and and make sure your chat goes in there with some fire energy bro let them know um what your team what your squad is all about 
and there's actually a lot of connections you can make through hosting people um a lot of the time those people will return the favor and host you back as well um it's not something you should expect i mean when you're hosting someone you want to help their channel out um but at the same time you might receive some of that help back and it could definitely lead to a lot of things such as let's say like collaborations let's say you host somebody a couple times they'll hit you up they're like yo you want to collab run some customs do, do some stuff like that basically to get both of the communities involved that's also another way to grow your channel um so hosting is huge don't go offline without hosting anybody um always look to be hosting somebody and getting involved in another community as well and getting to know more people inside of the community of the game that you're playing all right so i asked community members uh to give any type of questions that they may have about twitch streaming um and these are questions that you guys might have as well so i'm gonna go over them and i'm gonna answer them as i'm going through uh first one we have uh basically says when i have new people coming into my stream what is the best way to try and keep them in the stream bro best way to keep them in the stream be entertaining talk to your audience like i said man when you have a waffle slayer 52 in the chat man um talk to him bro make him feel at home talk to him talk to your viewers bro um they're a part of your community they're there and um you, you gotta appreciate that bro. you gotta appreciate the time that they're putting in to watch your stream so talk to them and i promise you um that'll that'll help them stick around if they want to so i'd say the biggest thing is just like chat interaction um and being entertaining while you're playing don't just sit there and play fortnite um or, or any other game that you're playing without saying anything start narrating your game start being entertaining and uh you got this bro the next question says how do i keep motivation when i'm constantly streaming to less than five viewers man it's look it's tough to stay motivated i remember back when i was streaming to like one to two viewers at a time um it really is tough to stay motivated but you got to have this goal in mind and you got to know that you it, you got to do whatever it takes to get past your certain goal man let's say you set a goal for like you want you want to get a stream with 10 viewers you got to do everything in your power like i said twitter instagram social media um host a tournament if it's for five dollars man people will play i promise you host a tournament um host a community event shave your beard if you have a beard shave your beard i mean i wouldn't shave my beard personally but like get chat hype get the people that you know hyped get involved in other communities let them know that you're a streamer um you'll eventually through time get over that less than five viewers mark sometimes you might have 10 viewers sometimes you might have two but eventually at the end of like six seven months man it takes time depending each channel grows differently but you will end up averaging more than five viewers i promise you if you do all the things that i just said you will average more than five viewers man you got this all right so this is a question that i get a lot it says does it matter if you need a good mic or a good camera to grow your twitch channel um look man when i first started I was playing on a TV. The TV was up in the air, bro. So I was like looking up the whole time. I was on a console and I was using Apple headphones, not AirPods. Okay, so I can't even flex them. They were, they were the wired Apple headphones and I had one in my ear and I don't even know what was going on with the other one. It was just like hanging out, right? But I didn't think once about my setup, bro. I never thought about my setup until my channel started growing. Um, if you are passionate about what you're doing and if you're having fun streaming no matter what type of a setup you have you will be able to entertain people and i don't think it matters to have a good mic or a good camera i think eventually um with the money that you save up from streaming and, and all that revenue um you could go and invest in like a new microphone a new camera and stuff like that but to begin i think you just need the bare minimum bro even if it's no camera just a regular microphone and just some gameplay showing up um, I think there's a lot of things that you could do to kind of grow your channel from there and build a community from there. So I don't believe that a good mic or a good camera is really necessary to get started, but it's something that you you kind of get as you're moving forward and growing in your streaming career. The next question says, okay, so I'm grinding for affiliate at the moment and I really just need to get followers. How can I do so at a quick rate? Well, what you could do man is just get involved in various communities tell people to watch your stream whenever you go live let your boys know that you need that three viewer average mark um that should be pretty easy to obtain um and just 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 tell them to lurk around in your chat just chill um and then to get the 50 viewers make sure you could run some like if you're a fortnite streamer you could run some viewer games some zone wars 
if you're any type of streamer you can run some viewer games people always want to come in uh to people's chats and kind of get games in with them so i think that's a good way to grow your following also you could host like a little giveaway for maybe like five to ten dollars um which would kind of help your following as well because i know you need to reach that 50 follower mark um but yeah got this bro the next question says do you think face cam makes for better streams um i think that depends on what type of streamer you are man i mean a lot of people use face cams a lot of people like them um there's also streamers that don't use face cams at all i mean look at dakota's bro dakota's was just goaded on his snipes goaded at the game and never used the face cam just super super entertaining personality and so no i don't believe um face cams necessarily make streams better i think in my personal experience like i think my stream would be better with a face cam because of my facial reactions and the weird faces that i make while i'm fighting people on fortnite or whatever I, I think that all just adds to the content and it's entertaining um but i don't think it's necessary for like everybody to use all right everybody that's gonna do it for the video i hope you guys learned a lot from this video i hope you guys got some certain tips that you could use uh in growing your twitch channel uh, i'll be looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys use these uh pointers um, if you guys want to watch me on Twitch, if you guys haven't seen me on Twitch before, uh, www.twitch.tv slash AOLive. I'm live almost every single night. Make sure to check us out. Link is going to be in the description below. Um, and make sure to hit a like on this video. Make sure to hit that sub. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace out. Good luck streaming, boys.